stone quarry, filled with Britain supply carts. Once I burn those, I'll push rubbery to peace. Best raise my hood here. God bless the merchant. Yes, the merchant. Oh.
Go, Sulin. Go! Smell that jailbird? There's Ivar. Jailbird, too. I think so. A faint, grassy odor? No, no. The air smells of... Eivor, chill belt. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherling here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Flames and smoke will warm Rodri's desire for peace. Anir is a lesser concern. Peace is for suckling babes, but as you like. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. Bloody kindling it is. We will smash this place to splinters. Come, Jailbert! The fight is on! Let the Saxon villagers flee, Ivar. Only the Britons deserve our wrath. Thor! Thunders beside us! Yeah!
this place of soldiers. Less support for Rotary. Jailbird fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Jailbird, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth! To survive a battle is to be born anew in blood and streams. My father died in the snake pit. Left nothing but moldy bones and putrid flesh. But by the gods, he had earned a place at Odin's table. Your father, Ragna, left a strong saga. Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. <gasps> Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. Look at all those delicious fish. Hooked! Bring it to shore! Come now, you scared cowards. You are my lion. An eel! Just a regular fish. Oh. Hooked! Bring it to shore! Come now, you little scaled cowards. You're on my line. Thank you. 
Oh, another eel. Almost enough for a hearty soup. Just a regular fish. Sure. Come now, use the skin, cowards. You are my life. That's enough for now. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. Come now, use the skin, cowards. You are my life. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbat? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then, at long last, we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. 
And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. Eivor, at the outset of our conflict, you gave me a boon of silver to ease our way to peace. As we have come to peace by another path, I return your silver in form of a small gift. Please accept this. It is fine craftsmanship, my lady. Thank you. I wish you well. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbout must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. It is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbat? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Have you seen Chelbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Arderling. Ask another! What's got into you? I'm looking for Chelbert. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Ivar, it is done. Peace, eh? If not happiness... He asked me to... Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chelbat? My brother saw him last. Trunk is a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chelbat? Chel... <coughs> Bert? Did none of you see Chilbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for three days, another for four. Then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself. But once or twice, when I needed a quick word, I dumped him in the lake. It's worth a try. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. That's a low thing to do to a man. Hm. I am looking for Chailbert. The soft Saxon boy? 
The next Elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. Follow the stream up the mountain. South of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you. Show me. 